Konnichiwa and welcome everybody to Chrono Review. It's time for the last Fate Figma review of this week. And it's one hell of a finale because it's time for Gilgamesh. And this Figma is one Figma I've been waiting for about since I saw the Fate Stay Night anime. And he was never announced back then. It was just a dream idea that they should release Gilgamesh at some point. And that was back when I waited for the long delayed Archer Figma release. And this Figma is licensed under Fate Grand Order, but basically it's the same Gilgamesh as in any Fate Media, Fate Zero and Fate The Night. Not in Limited Blade Works, because then he wears casual clothes. And this opportunity to release it under Fate Grand Order adds for the possibilities of more accessories because of the different ascension stages and upgrades you can give them. And in this case, the box is basically, just basically, the same new Figma standard with the black bottom and another color top. But what makes this one more attractive compared to the other boring versions is not only because there are gold inlay, because I think it's gold because it's Gilgamesh and because it's the number 300. And there is the license sticker, just to point out while I'm at it. Type Moon. And there's gold, but there's also this magic seal behind him, and there's this art here. There's not only the picture of the Figma, and there is gold in it. This is basically the same, but it just feels more attractive because it's a little bit toned. There's the poses at the back, and there is on the side, on top and bottom as usual. But this one is enclosed, and you can open it up like this. There you have the window with the figure, and you have an inlay with his Gate of Babylon. I think this is a really nice anniversary Figma, or what to call it. I suppose it is special because it's number 300. And being Gilgamesh, I really like that they did this. Now Gilgamesh is a really nice character. He's a bastard, but his ego... You can still not like him because he's cool, even if he's egoistic and evil in a way. He's still a nice character and the design is awesome as well. Alright, here we have Figma Gilgamesh opened up. Or Archer, as his servant class are. I must say, this one is really clean. It's very nice. It even has shading on the red cape. It would be a little bit of a... Too much if it was flat colored. So, I suppose that's why they did it. But, it's a really nice addition for being a Figma to have toned here. All the detailing on the armor is really, really clean. There are no smudging, nothing. And the uh, design is very accurate to the standard Gilgamesh. Because most servants that originate from the standard Fate series are the same design in Grand Order. There are no differences much except for different details added on for ascension and all that. I will go into that a little bit later. So with everything being totally cool in the detail apartment, let's bring on the articulation which is interesting because it's a lot of armor. The head is ball jointed so there are no really limits with the short hair. And the shoulders are attached in a way that they move so when you bring up the shoulders they do not stop the movement still except for just minor when moving upwards there are elbow joints they seem to be normal quite unlimited there are ball jointed hands and the torso are jointed down here so but still ball joint and it's pretty unlimited as well and those armor parts here are all ball jointed so they can go up and turn all those three pieces 
and this part is soft and those parts all together are also ball jointed for unlimited movements with the cape and this separate part here is also ball jointed so you can you can move everything pretty much however you want it and the legs are ball jointed they go up pretty far and there are knee joints with a knee pad that follows the movement and stays in the middle, quite nice. The feet are a little bit limited at this direction but it makes up for it with the toe joint so if you want the leg behind like this you need the toe joint instead of angling the whole feet. But I think they did pretty good solutions to this there's not much limitations despite having this bulk of armor. That's something I always worried about Gilgamesh is how the fuck does he move in all this armor? They're like no joint. So he, he can't actually turn his torso much according to the actual design. But they did a really nice solution on the figure and I think that works awesome. Now let's bring on the accessories to that. And first off is the Figma bag, can't do without. And there is also the Figma base. And there are two set of hands. There are skin colored hands and golden hands. For gripping and holding accessories, both the different. And there's also the extra pegs. One for the skin and one blue one since his clothes are, br are blue under the armor. That's for the armor hands. And to add to that, there is this alternate torso which uses the skin hands. Uh, this torso is for the stage 3 ascension which he for some reason went topless. And that's an, just anime logic or game logic overall. You get better, more protection, but less armor. I don't really get that, but the design is nice when he's without in any case. So this is the stage 3 ascension. And basically the standard Gilgamesh we see here are the normal one from Fate. But in the game it's the stage 2 ascension because stage 1 do not have the red cape. So the standard Gilgamesh from Fate, Stay Night, are the stage 2 ascension in the game. And this torso, it have torso articulation like this. And I suppose when you attach this to the, the waist, it will be articulated with that ball joint. And the arms are ball jointed at the shoulders, there are elbow joints and of course ball jointed hands. The neck is ball jointed. Hmm, two parts. It's down here and up there. So the head are ball jointed and the neck. And you can remove this fringe in order to attach the faces. And going on with that, there are the faces. So there's one angry battle face and one more glaring face that when he glares to the side when he gets a little bit serious. There's also arms crossed to attach at the elbows and this is for the iconic Gate of Babylon cocky pose when he just yeah, crosses his arms and I think this part is really iconic to include. And next up there is this Enkidu, the Chains of Heaven that he uses in Limited Blade Works to chain Berserker but also is probably an attacking Grand Order and it's a nice accessory to include. It's probably quite important actually because it's an iconic part of Gilgamesh history. When he chained the Bull of Heaven and all of that. And last but not least, it's Enema Elish or Ea, his sw sword or what to say. It can even rotate at, you can rotate the full one the midsection or just the last section so you can rotate everything separately if you wish and 
I think yeah, you can attach it by removing this. I just had a hunch and it, that's how it works. So this part onto the hand first, then on like this. And this one is also nicely detailed and it's his main noble phantasm. Alright, here we have Figma Gilgamesh post up. And I chose to pose him up with both Enema Elish and Chains of Heaven because it's awesome and he looks really really cocky with that glare. And he's ready to kick some ass and open his gate of Babylon or whatever he wants to do to kill those mongrels. So what can I say about this Figma? It's it's awesome. It's easy to pose, despite all the arm parts. It's wonderfully smooth for all those armor parts. And I must say, for such a long-weighted release of a classic servant, it was well worth the wait. And at least they didn't tease with a release, a preview that was never released like they did with Archer. That was a pain, I must admit. I really wanted that Archer Figma, and it was a pain because they never released it until way way later and by that time it was probably totally redone but all in all Gilgamesh was a worth wait I still hope they release more servants from the classic series like Lancer but I don't get my hopes up but at least with the increased popularity of Fate series these days there is at least a better chance now so let's take a little Last look around Gilgamesh before I'm going to do a few comparisons. This one was a wonderfully smooth Figma to pose up despite the armor. And if Figma continues like this, it's going to be a hell awesome future for Figma and the releases. And now I'm going to re do a little comparison to another Gilgamesh. I do have another Gilgamesh and that's Shogakin Fate Zero Gilgamesh. So the differences in design on the face is probably the studio thing. Uh, UFO table and this is the standard the Grand Order Nasu design which is also very similar to the original Gilgamesh. So what we have here is two different kinds of figures. The articulation is very similar. This one even have the toe joints. The scale is pretty much spot on. I can't spot much difference in size and scale for these ones. So I have displayed this one with the Figmas for so long and I'm going to have both on the same shelf probably still. But this one have the metallic finish which is probably what Gilgamesh should have been in real life. How they picture him because he's always displayed very shiny. And this one is actual metal parts because it's... what did they call it? Yeah, well, it's made in actual metal parts, the Shogakin series, and this one have metallic paint. Both are very smooth, so both figures are enjoyable in both their own ways. This one is probably smoother to pose, from what I can remember when trying this out. And I might review this one at a later point as well, but for now, I can't pick a favorite because both have awesome plus and downsides, mostly plus sides. This one has metallic finish on the blade as well. This one has more realistic finish and feels more luxury in a way, but this one is more... it goes in line with the Figmas with painted metallics. So it feels more anime in a way. So I must say, as a long time Figma fan, Figma version is probably my favorite as per se, but I still like both a lot. And as a last comparison before I conclude this review is with Figma Archer that I mentioned a little bit earlier this review. Now I must point out that Figma Gilgamesh is a lot taller. Archer is the same height as Shiro, but we all know that Archer is taller than both Shiro and Gilgamesh, so Archer is probably a little bit underscaled, but Gilgamesh is probably pretty spot on being taller than Shiro as well, and I must say, Figma is non-scale, I'm aware of that. And for most part, they have pretty decent scaling for Figmas that are released in the same series. That means that most fi Fate Figmas are probably pretty correct to each other, even if they are not 100% correct. 
So I guess I should be just thankful that Archer is at least as tall as Hero and not shorter. And with this I must say some final words again that this Figma is smooth and awesome and I highly recommend it for any Fate fan. And this has been a long week of Fate reviews from me. All the Fate Figmas I had stocked up from a little, little time back are reviewed now and with this one I conclude this Fate Marathon I've had this week for now. But there are still more releases that I have not still gotten my hands on. There are new releases like a new version from Extella of Fate the Saber Nero and there are also a new version of the Saber Lily but I'm uncertain if I should get but I think I should get it because I want to collect every damn version from Fate. So look forward to that in the future and until next time take care and sayonara.